Today we'll be talking about area and perimeter of rectangles. You might remember that perimeter is the distance around an object. So for rectangles, which have two pairs of sides the same length, we can just add the width twice and the length twice. And sometimes you'll see that written as more of a formula, two times length plus two times width. What happens when we have a square? Square has all sides the same length, so sometimes for perimeter of a square you'll see four times the side length, or four times s. Now, what if summer is over and we're done using the pool and now we need to put a pool cover on the pool? How do we know the total number of square units of our pool cover? Well, that's a measurement we call area. Area is the number of square units needed to cover a two-dimensional shape. You might remember when we worked with rectangular arrays that we could find the total number of square units by multiplying the number of rows by the number of columns. For rectangles, for area, we're going to use the same method. We're going to multiply length times width to find the area of a rectangle. Again, sometimes you'll see that written as more of a formula with just the L and the W. Let's look at an example for perimeter. We have a rectangular candy bar with a width of 2 inches, and its length is 3 times the width. We're looking for perimeter. So we have our candy bar with a width of 2 inches, and then the length is 3 times the width. Well, we need that to be a value, so let's substitute in 2 inches for width, and then we can see that 6 inches is the length of our candy bar. Now for perimeter, we can just use our 2 times length plus 2 times width, and now we have 2 times 6 plus 2 times 2, which will give us 12 inches plus 4 inches for a perimeter of 16 inches. Let's look at an example with area. Dan's rectangular pool is 20 feet long and 12 feet wide. He bought a pool cover, but it only covers half of the pool, and we want to know the area of the pool cover. So here's our pool, 20 feet by 12 feet, and our pool cover, which is only covering half. Let's start by finding the area of the whole pool. We know we can use area of a rectangle, which is length times width. We'll substitute in our dimensions and find that 20 times 12 is 240 square feet. Remember that area has square units, different from perimeter. Now we need the area of the pool cover. We're told that it's half the area of the pool. Well, what does half mean? When we cut something into halves, we know that both pieces are the same size. So what we need to do here is take our area of our pool and separate it into two equal size pieces, or divide by two. So if we take 240 square feet and divide it by two, we end up with 120 square feet. So in summary, for rectangles, perimeter is the distance around, 2 times length plus 2 times width, and area is length times width.